Will this one be worth 10? This is the mod. I can show this design on my computer, but I think it will make more sense to show it on the printer itself. This is not the easiest printer to modify because it already has a lot of neat features and the extra challenge is that these profiles don't have these fist slots on the side so it's more difficult to add things to it so therefore I thought <coughs> so therefore I thought it's a good idea to make a tool swap system because I think that's maybe the only thing missing to this printer so this thing is a tool swap system for this printer and I think that this is the easiest mod that I've ever made because it requires minus one screw besides these two 3D printed parts it's a one and a half hour print you can just use the wrenches that come with the package the first thing you have to do is disconnect this connector loosen these screws well there goes one screw fortunately we it requires minus one screw and I can just remove this tool from this plate. It can be that it's stuck to this plate because they've used some hot glue here and that hot glue gets stuck to this plate here. So you just have to use a bit of force and you can just remove it like this and we're left with this plate. So first thing we're going to add is this base part. We are lucky because these two standoffs, they are still here. They aren't actually used. Thanks Creality for letting these two things on there. This part just slides over that and that's holding this thing to its place and it prevents it from sliding into this direction. And we can just use these same screws and screw this part on here. You don't need any nuts or inserts. These screws will just create their own thread in here. Don't tighten them too much. These screws prevent this part from going into this direction. Already with one screw, it's, al it's already quite stuck on there. Okay, so like that. And now we have this part, which goes onto that extruder. Okay, this extruder is just as simple. You can remove this part with these two small screws and this screw over here place this plate on here and use those same screws to mount this plate I can use better tools of course but I'm just showing that you can mount this with just basic tools that come with the package and now we can just slide this to the base part on the printer And that's it. This just clips on here, on this edge. Connect this. And this is, this is basically it. And a nice thing about this printer is that it has a touch sensor. We can just start printing with this thing. I don't think we even reduced the build volume of this printer. It has an Y offset of three millimeters and it has an X offset. But if we move it all the way to the right, you can see that the nozzle goes beyond this build plate. So let's move it down a little so you can see it better. So there's more than enough room. So this is this is pretty cool, right? Why? <laughs> oh, here's, here's that screw. Why would you want this, this mod? If you remove the extruder assembly like this, it's easier to swap out the nozzle. It's easier to reach. If it becomes clogged for some reason, it's also easier to unclog it or do a cold pull. And I've used that a couple of times with my original tool changer that I basically started this channel with. And if you've watched those early videos, you also know that it's possible to add different tools to your printer and start laser engraving 
pump plotting, grinding, you can just slide it on there. If you want to take this a step further, then I have... Yes. You can use one of these. This is a prototyping board, which only consists out of these holes, which you can put your own hardware. And if you make an adapter for this thing and slide this on here, you can add your own hardware to it and use the signals that come from this cable. I've reversed engineered this cable. I will place the design files of this on my website. And I will also add the pinout of this cable. You can just use that pinout uh, make your board slide it on here and use that for well maybe for laser engraving or add leds one caveat though is that this has a pitch of two millimeters and normally it's 2.54 millimeters so keep in mind that if you are going to buy a prototype board like this and buy a connector that you l use a two millimeter pitch, those are way less common, but they are out there. But for now, I'm just going to use it for 3D printing. I can't make it more fancy. This, this is the mod. What I especially like about this mod, and that's what blew my mind. I've printed this mod out of PLA, and if you buy this printer, it comes with a roll of PLA, just like this one. And basically, you can replicate this mod with only the parts out of this box, the tools, the materials. And if you don't like it for some reason, then it's very easy to undo everything. As a matter of fact, I've done this a couple of times for this video. And this is my submission to the Creality Contest. If you want to know more, check my website, properprinting.pro, on which I place these design files so you can replicate it yourself. Thanks a lot to all my Patreon supporters. Your support helps a lot with these projects. Well, I'm going to continue on my other projects. And one of them is with the printer on the wall over there. So don't miss that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in the next video. Bye.